Go ahead. Oh, yeah. If you were to think about where your hamburgers and steak come from, how many people think like this have a picture of this in their heads? Well, the reality is that this is what all slaughterhouses look like, especially for cows. PETA states that 42 million cows are killed each year and suffer through their deaths. Although many other animals, such as pigs and chickens, are killed and affected by the meat industry, I will be focusing on cows. Today I'm going to talk about the abuse animals face in feedlots such as these and the mistreatment of animals when they reach the actual slaughterhouses. There are three main problems with feedlots. One of, them, one of the main problems is space restraints. The Animal Liberation website states that 895,000 cows are forced into 629 feedlots the size of two tennis courts. Cows are practically standing on top of one another with no shade or space to move. Forced to stand in their own feces and other cow species, contamination is highly likely. The spread of disease results because of these poor conditions. 14 to 18% of cows are killed before they reach the slaughterhouses. Along with lack of space on feedlots, animals are painfully marked for identification and stripped of their reproductive organs. No pain First, when, when first born, hot iron rod, rods are pushed into the flesh of cows, causing third degree burns. No pain relievers are given during this procedure or during reproduction preventative measures. Male cows' testicles are sliced off and female cows are cut open to take out their ovaries. Horns are also either burned or sliced off without any pain relievers. As you may be able to imagine, these procedures would cause excruciating amounts of pain. All of these problems I have discussed result in the last major problem in feedlots, down cows. Down cows are cows that contract the disease which enables them to stand up. One of the main causes of down cows is diseases contracted from infection. When cows are castrated improperly and the wounds are left open, there, since there's many bacteria on the cows due to the feces, there's a high levels of infection. Also, mestesis is, is another cause of down cow syndrome usually pass along due to poor conditions through feces in which cows are constantly laying. This is a video showing you what how down cows are treated on farm. <laughs> Now that, they, now that you know about the major problems cows face at feedlots, I would like to talk about what happens when they reach the slaughterhouses themselves. According to PETA, people for the ethnic treatment of animals, 250 cows are killed per hour. Cows are shot in the face by a captive bullet or electrically shocked. Federal laws require animals to be properly stunned prior to slaughter. Because lines of animals coming into slaughterhouses move so quickly, and workers are so poorly trained, techniques often fail, and four out of 10 animals are left to feel all pain of slaughter. Those who are properly stunned 50% of the time come to their senses by the time that they are actually killed. Ramon Moreno, a longtime slaughterhouse worker, told the Washington Post that he frequently has to cut legs off of completely conscious cows. They blink and make noises, their heads and eyes move around, they die piece by piece. Another worker states that cows can be alive for up to seven minutes after their throats are cut minutes after their throats are cut. Lines never stop for live animals. The more animals killed, the more money is made. This is a quote by Casey Moore, and it's from a first hand, it's first hand from what a cow would feel like, I guess. And um, it says, you see the fear in my eyes as you cut open my neck. I can't hide, I'm scared, I'm going to die. Is there anyone who can help me save darkness? Thumb. That's when the cow finally dies after they suffer through. 
After revealing the truths about slaughterhouses, will you look at a hamburger and think and say the same? Or do you, will you look at it differently? Okay. Uh -huh.